And then, of course, you're going to need, if you want, have any idea of doing some Wi-Fi hacking, which lots of people like to do. I mean, that's a real, one of the most popular uh, activities of newcomers to hacking is to hack the Wi-Fi, right? Well, you're going to need to invest a little bit of money into a good Wi-Fi adapter. And, you know, there's a, almost all of the Wi-Fi cracking tools at their heart are using air crack. You know, we have lots of different tools, but they're all using largely air crack at their heart. And air crack has what's called a compatibility list on their website. If you go to aircrackng.com and go to their compatibility list, but they list the compatible adapters by chipset. And most people don't know the chipset <laughs> that's in their Wi-Fi adapter. So if you don't know that, tried and true is go with an alpha. Do you have a, do you have a special, a specific one that you like? Well, I mean, I've got several that I have. And once again, password cracking is, is not one of those that is a function of speed. The important part for password cracking is getting the hash. And that's not a function of speed. You could be using an old adapter and it'll work just as fast as a brand a new adapter because it has nothing to do with the speed of transmission, right? Or very little. There's actually does make a small amount of difference, right? I would say go out and, you know, if you're on a budget, buy a used one. You can buy them on eBay, other places. Don't, don't go out and buy the latest and greatest. I have several of the latest and greatest, and quite frankly, they don't work that much better than my old ones that I've had for 10 years. If you're on a budget, go to eBay or other place where you can buy used equipment and look for an old Alpha, and that'll do the job for you. And I've got some even cheaper ones that I have purchased over the years and tested them out and and, and they work out pretty well. I'm glad you said this because, I'm, sorry, I, want, I just wanted to say this before we continue. I really, I'm really glad that you emphasize this because you see it in any domain. Uh, just being on YouTube, you can see it with YouTubers who spend fortunes on equipment. And then yes. you get someone who's a really great YouTuber and all they have is a phone or an old camera. The tool doesn't make you better. It, it, exactly. It, it's the it's the person who determines the quality or the you know the output, not just the tools. So I'm really glad that you emphasized that. Sorry, I didn't want no. to interrupt you. Hacking's eighty percent the person, twenty percent the machine. So let's yeah. focus on the person and not the machine. And the other question I get a lot also is that, well, if I'm going to be a hacker, I've got to go out and buy all those toys. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. I've got I've got to have all those toys that I see in the YouTube videos. You know, and it's like no. You don't need all those toys, right? You can do a really good job and be very proficient without all those toys. And I refer to them as toys. I mean, the Wi-Fi pineapple and and uh, air gun and uh, a number like of them. A, like a, like like rubber ducky, that kind of stuff. Rubber right? rubber ducky. That's what I was thinking of. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You don't you don't need all those things. I mean, if you're just starting out, right? You don't need those things, and you can do almost all of those things that. You can accomplish the same thing without those toys, but it's a little bit more time consuming, maybe a little harder. But you'll you'll have learned a lot by going ahead and trying to do the same thing without all the toys. And certainly, I mean, I had I had a young person come to me the other day and say, you know, I've got a good laptop, but I can't afford to buy all the rubber ducky and the Wi-Fi pineapple. And you don't need those things, but they have been left with this impression that they can't be a hacker without those things. Those things are nice and hack five makes them. And, you know, and, and, and I've done a number of tutorials and, and classes on SDR and SDRs is, is, a, is a lot of fun and it's a very important area of hacking. But when most of what we do, or at least to get started, you can start with a very inexpensive RTL SDR, which costs like $30 or you can buy them used for even less than that. You know, once you get proficient, then you can go and move up to the Hack RF or some of the other more expensive SDR devices. But really what I am, want to emphasize here is that it's more important to invest in yourself in developing the skills and the knowledge than it is in the hardware. The hardware is, is only an extension of the hacker behind them. 
So get yourself, get yourself a machine, get started and, and start developing your skills. And don't worry so at so much about the hardware that's involved. Although there are some essentials, right? I mean, we do need, you do need a laptop. You do need a, a Wi-Fi compatible adapter, an air crack compatible adapter. If you're going to crack the uh, uh, Wi-Fi, you do need enough RAM maybe to run some virtual machines to get started. Okay, You don't even need that, but to get started, you want to be hacking in a safe environment.